Enjoy a typical afternoon in New York City. Who is it? Groceries, man. My name is Paul Kersey. How's my wife? I'm sorry. She died a few minutes ago, Mr. Kersey. Any chance of catching these men? There's a chance, sure. Just a chance. I'd be less than honest if I gave you more hope, Mr. Kersey. This is Paul Kersey. This is the story of a man who decided to clean up the most violent town in the world. I said, turn around. Give me the money. He begins where all the super cops leave off. Bugging has gone down by how much, sir? 950 a week to 470 he reported last week. You understand not too many people know that. And uh, you want to keep it that way, huh? Oh, no, we have to keep it that way, Inspector. This whole city would explode. And if this person is listening to my voice, I urge him in the name of law and order to desist from this one-man crusade and turn himself into the police. Let's see the money, man. Call him a mad vigilante. Call him a hero. Either way, he's always on target. We want you to get out of New York permanently. Never make a death wish, because a death wish always comes true. And you get to love it. Every day, on every street, in every city, women are insulted. Abused. Threatened. Santa, what's the matter? What's the matter with you? Are you planning on going with someone? Would you like to go with me? Much too beautiful to be a model. What's her secret? What is she hiding? Where is she going? Beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, is Khan, a genetically superior tyrant. Exiled to a barren planet, banished by a starship commander he is destined to destroy. Left for dead, he has survived. I'll chase him round the moon of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round Perdition's flames before I give him up. There she is. There she is. Captain. Can you be major power? A few shots, sir. 
Not enough against their shields. The base is stopping. Scotty, I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me. Marooned for all eternity. Buried alive. Buried alive. Sean! Sean! At the end of the universe lies the beginning of vengeance. Star Trek II. The Wrath of Khan. Carla Harris had everything the American dream could offer. Until... Did you want to know how this thing works? <laughs> now that dream has turned into a nightmare. Today she is blinded by hate. By night, a ruthless avenger. Surprise! No, oh God! Oh, Ray must have ticked off one guy too many. Hello, Sparky. Has she killed twice already? And any one of you could be next. They killed her family. Destroyed her world. Now nothing can stop her. Carla Harris is still alive. One by one, she hunts them down. One by one, she makes them pay. They gave her hate. Don't you want to know how this thing works? Naked Vengeance. An evil force took his life. An unearthly power has brought him back. He is a phantom, a wraith, a cosmic spirit given another chance. Uh, are you new in town? Yeah. Who's the kid? Turn my back, and the next second he was there, like magic almost. You ever seen one of those before? Nah, let's just add it to our collection. There's a kid out there using his car to kill people. Not that it's such a big deal, since it seems to be your gang he's got it in for. A wraith, man! A ghost! An evil spirit, and it ain't cool! What are you doing? Packard, stop it! Get in the car! What are you doing, man? You get out of my face, Burger Boy! You wind up dead like your brother! Folk jungle, an urban skyline of fear, waiting, 
watching, destroying. You're not safe anymore to walk the streets when every hour, 163 more people become victims of assault. You live at the mercy of the animals who inhabit the streets of every city. People who place little value on their lives and even less on yours. You live in a country where 12 women are raped every minute, where 65 people are murdered each day. It's happening now. It's happening this minute. The police are powerless. The law is corrupt. And the courts turn them loose. I figure that's the answer. That's my judge and my jury. There is only one alternative. It's time to take a stand. Because time is running out. You're not safe anymore. Their numbers are growing. And you must wage a war to eliminate the problem. Yourself. Vigilante. I'll be coming for her, and I'll be coming for you, too. Sure you will, and I'll be waiting. You are about to enter a world unlike any you've ever seen before, where rock and roll is king. The only law is a loaded gun, where the beautiful Stay and see the show, it's really good. The brutal. I want Tom Cody. And the brave all meet. From now on, it's for real. In Streets of Fire. You're lying in your bed and on a Saturday night. You're sweating buckets and it's not even hard. But your brain has got the message and it's sending it out to every nerve and every muscle you got. You've got so many dreams that you don't know where to put them, so you better turn a few of them loose. Your body's got a feeling that it's starting to rust. You better Creators of 48 Hours, Universal Pictures presents Michael Paré, Diane Lane, Rick Moranis, and Amy Madigan in a Walter Hill film, Streets of Fire. Does it ever feel like everyone's got more going than you do? Oops. That everyone is smart. So you're Al Myers, kid? Yes, I am. You look pretty stupid to me. Thank you. You say the best skier in town just ran off with your girlfriend? Even your younger brother does better than you do? <laughs> and that nobody even cares? That broke up with me. Oh, that's nice. Well, you might be right. Oh! But remember one thing. I haven't even been to New York City. Nobody was ever better off dead. The truth is, I can outski you any day of the week. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to race? I'll take you on any day, sucker. Go that way, really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. Whoa! All you need is guts. All 
right! Now turn! I'm gonna race, I'm gonna lose, and I'm gonna die in that order. Go! And you'll never doubt yourself again. He's skiing on one ski! Better off dead. And that's a real shame when folks be throwing away a perfectly good white boy like that. An abnormal look at a normal team. My name's Coffin. I know what you want to, and you're gonna get it. This is the end of your rotten life, you dope pusher! Just a little black. And let me see you crawl over here, you black trash. You want me to crawl? What are you doing? Put that down. You want to spit on me and make me crawl? Just tell me, did this man send you to kill me? No, he didn't know nothing. Take her out and kill her. I think of all the fun I could have had with a good-looking stud like you. You really mean that? All your friends are dead. Well, I killed them all. He started off as an innocent prank that erupted in savage violence. You think she had fun when she filled her car with garbage, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Red. What are you gonna do about it? All right, girls. Sorry about your sister, Brenda. The police are doing everything they can. But she shouldn't have been there in the first place. Charlene, I, I love her so much. What am I going to do if Heather dies? We'll meet you guys at the top. You're not going to hurt her, right, Jake? Isn't that what I said? Okay. Brenda, you can't take the whole world on by yourself. You don't know anything. Justice for one, justice for all. You get what you give when you go through the law. For God's sake, it wasn't my fault. Hey, what is it? Wait a minute, man. I don't like it. Something's weird. What's the matter, boy? Lose your nerve? What a shame. <laughs> We're gonna play a little game, baby. Hey, Red! Red! Oh, yeah. She came loaded for bear. No! No! Oh, my. I missed. And I did so want to see you bleed to death. You pay for your crime. 
judgment will stand My back's to the wall It's out of my head Go for your friend, uh. Yeah, baby. Ah! Linda Blair in Savage Streets, where the only law is an eye for an eye. New York City. Robert Ginty cleaned up the streets in Exterminator 1, and the city has been quiet. Until now. people getting hurt no matter what you think no matter what you say nothing you can do maybe Eastwood is back in full force as Dirty Harry in Magnum Force. Jimmy Riley, big time racketeer.
Lou Guzman, narcotics king. What's happening? J.J. Wilson, well-known pimp. There are killers on the loose, dressed like cops, and they always use a magnum. You and your partner are back on homicide. It's a little dramatic, isn't it, Briggs? Not your usual style. It's meant to be, Callahan. Look, this thing might be bigger than even we think it is. This is the cream in the bottle, Callahan. Someone's trying to put the courts out of business. Look, you work with Briggs on this, Callahan. <laughs> They call him Dirty Harry, and he likes to do things his way. He's always around where the action is. In 24 hours, Harry manages to cover a stakeout, to stop a robbery, and to be a good neighbor. Hi. Oh, hi. You're the cop who lives upstairs. That's right. Killers that look like cops are after Harry because he knows too much. Whenever there's trouble, they always call in Harry because they know he'll do the job. It's all in a day's work for Inspector Harry Callahan.